So, there are many different capture cards that you can get these days, like this Elgato HD60S, or this less common and unbranded one here, or even these Amazon 1080 60 bad boys that a lot of people have too. But they all set up in exactly the same way, and here is how to do it. So to set up a capture card on OBS, you're going to need two HDMI cables and a USB cable to plug into the actual capture card itself. And the first thing we're going to do here is take our first HDMI cable, and we're going to plug that into our console of choice, and then take the other end of that cable and plug it into our HDMI input slot on the capture card. Make sure it's specifically the one that says input or HDMI in. Now take your second HDMI cable and this one's going to plug into the other HDMI output slot on the capture card. Again make definite sure that it's the output slot and the other end of that is going to go into your monitor or your TV depending on where you want the gameplay to actually be played on. And then finally we're going to take the USB cable plugging one end into the capture card of course and the other end into an available slot on your PC or laptop wherever you're planning on having OBS. And by this stage you should see the feed from your console is now showing on your monitor or TV that you plugged it into and it is now time to set up the OBS side of things. Now most capture cards including the Elgato that I'm using for the example in this video will be 108060. So it's a good idea when you open OBS to head to your settings first and go to your video settings which is on the left hand side here and ensure you have this set to 1920 by 1080 and 60 FPS in this drop down here and that'll just make sure you've got the best optimization for streaming and recording from your capture card. Then to add your capture card to the actual scene you need to click the plus icon in your scenes list here then click on add a video capture device and you'll be able to see your capture card in the drop down here and as you'll see it should pop up in your preview to be moved around the last thing to do though is to add the audio so to do that you simply click the plus icon in your scenes again then you're going to want to click on add an audio input device and select the card again and you'll then see that the audio is now being pulled across and it will show in your audio mixer and with that you are now set up and ready to go with your capture card in obs if you have any questions or troubles because there is a lot of issues that people bump into with capture cards then feel free to leave a comment down below or you can hop into our community discord which is linked in the description with 300 plus other streamers and creators just like you so again if you do need a little bit of help or you just want to make some friends in the space that is also there for you as well in the meantime though please leave a like down below and here is your last chance to subscribe in this video and here's another video that might help you on your streaming or creator journey hopefully i'll catch you in the next one Mwah.